In this video, I'm going to talk some more about making an Animega book cover, and I'm going to use Glitter Boo, um, which is kind of a silly website. I'll bet there's a lot of websites, and I'm going to be looking for more websites that do different things. Um, and this kind of stuff was more for like early MySpace stuff, and it can get really annoying if everything on the web is shining and glittering like this, but for very carefully improving book covers and making them animated, there are some really neat effects on Glitter Boo, um, which is why I'm going to use it. A lot of the stuff I can't use, um, but I will show you some of the stuff I can use. And the really nice thing about it is that Glitter Boo basically f uses the lights and contrast and darkness that are already in your cover. Um, so I'm going to choose a cover. I'm looking for, I might, I'm just going to use some best-selling covers um, that you're familiar with. And I'm looking for something that has a lot of light and dark contrast. I could actually do some fun stuff with fire or things in, in other programs. But in this program, I'm basically just looking for something that's already got a lot of light and dark contrast. Um, for example, this one, Winter is pretty good. That's uh, the, um, the cover is a little too small. I should have gotten a bigger version of that cover. This one would have been really good also. Let me see if I can make this bigger. Yeah, so this one, I mean, I'm, I'm actually going to do all of these. I'm going to add some animation to all these covers um, just for fun. This one would be really neat because I can make that glowing. Um, something with a really strong light in the background would work well. This one I can actually add, like, snowfall to, so I'll do that in a little bit. Um, but let me just start with... Oh, let's start with winter, even though I'll probably redo it because that cover is too small. Um, I could go with Clark, uh, sparkles or I could go with soft focus. I'm going to upload the picture. looks like that. It's not too small, but it's not, I mean, it could be bigger. And all I need to do is pick an effect. I've got to remember where, oh, it's already, it's only got one effect because I've already picked it. So it doesn't really have a lot of. Um, options and I'll save it later. So all I'm going to do is choose where the effect applies, the intensity. Oh, and here's sparkles or stars or decorative. There is snowflakes in this one. Um, but let me see what happens if I just go around the apple like this and get that white space. It actually doesn't really show you. There's not really a preview. Um, so I have to go down here to download and then view in browser and then I can see what happened. So now it looks kind of like that, um, which is a lot of fun. Like I said, I really want to make this a little bit bigger. Like if I'm going to make it and share it, um, I'd want to do something a little bigger. So that's sparkles and the sparkles twinkle like that, which is fun. But let me go back and try something else. Oh, that's funny. So it logged me out. Huh. So now I'm logged in again. So now it gives me this soft focus and lights. So this is better. The twinkles are, they can be really cool, but once, I mean, this, this works like once, so it'll work on my book covers because I'll be the first ones doing it, but once everybody's doing it, um, it won't be that cool anymore. Um, and it'll probably be kind of obnoxious. So you want to use something that's maybe cool, but not so obvious. Um, I'll try again with this one, just because that's a really awesome cover. And so the same thing, we're going to, this one, we're just going to try to find, you're basically finding the highlight. So you could just do, um, you could go here and go select all, and it will automatically find all the highlights. And this is a big picture, so it'll be a lot bigger to see. Um, and slower because it's a big picture. I should have just started with it small. 
And then I'm going to make another video about saving it and changing the file size because these files get really big and then there's an issue with sharing or putting them on your, on your website. It's taking a really long time. So I made a smaller version. So that's what it would look like if all of the highlights are, um, are glittering, which is way too much, especially when it gets over the text. And so what you really want instead, let me close that, selecting none. You really want to be more specific about where the glow is happening. So it'd be great if I could get it maybe just um, in this part. And I don't want it quite so obvious, so I might do this the intensity is less, the glow effect is less. And now if I just kind of come through here a little bit and see how that looks. So it's a little better. It's a little weird that it's, it's only here. It really should be kind of up here too and behind that text. Um, but the trick is just to make a little bit of sparkle somewhere so it stands out where it's not too much. Um, so I'd probably play with this some more and maybe in some other programs. But let me find one where there's some better contrast with, um, it works especially well with like, with trees and light, so on really dark covers. It'd probably work. I got all these mermaid covers. It would work great on some of these mermaid covers because they're supposed to be kind of glittery anyway. Um, and they have a lot of darks, a lot of contrast. Or something like this could be a lot of fun where there's strong light coming behind the text or behind something, because I could make all of this light um, stand out a little more. It would actually, the other program I'm using would actually be better for this because you can make it pulse. So I could have it be totally nothing there, but then I could have all this light become stronger and then fade out again. If I use this program, um, what's gonna happen is the whole thing will kind of be glowing. Oh, I guess I can adjust it here actually. So let's say, let's see what happens if I just take all this area, all the lights, um, but then I make it slow. And there's some other effects down here I haven't totally played with. Um, And you kind of got to just check and see how things look. So that's how it looks. Um, it's not exactly what I meant to happen. It's kind of cool down here. If I just did it down here, it would kind of look like these buildings are on fire or glowing. Um, so I'm going to try that. Because you really want it to be subtle and just have a little bit of stuff going on. There we go. So now, I mean, it's really just a cover. There's nothing really special about it except just this little bit of lights down here um, makes it look really neat and different um, and eye-catching when you're sharing it online. And this is just a J uh, GIF file. So I can just drag it like a picture. I can drag it and drop it into one of my folders. Um, you can share it. The problem is gonna be that the file size is probably gonna be should be really big. Actually, this file size isn't very big because I didn't select very much. So that file size is small and good for sharing. But that's basically as much as you want to do. You don't want to have it, you know, the whole thing to be glowing or spinning or anything. So it's a fun program. I'm going to stop this video here.